MJ, this one is going to fall into your wheelhouse more. And, and this is actually something that happened uh, happened to me at a show. Is uh, is I was had all set up and such, and I was doing cocktail music, and a kid came up and grabbed my external hard drive and lifted. Oh, what's this? And then it unplugged. And at the time, I didn't realize it because the the song that was playing was on the hard drive, and then everything locked up. And the kid had said I was actually over uh, putting some lights up, and then everything locked up, and I had to do a hard restart and everything like that. For DJs, if that happens, uh, that they're performing, and the hard drive, somebody moves it, and that external drive unplugs, what what are they going to need to do so they're not going to have issues or, or how do they recover from that? Let's put it that way. Um, so many, so many answers I have. I want to first start with, uh, what, what, you know, I guess is when I start with your situation, John, was the external hard drive solid state or regular mechanical? Uh, mechanical. It's a, yeah, an actual hard drive. Okay. Uh, you're running a Mac? Yes. What program are you DJing with? Uh, virtual. Okay. When you're not running uh, virtual, and you have a hard drive plugged in, and you unplug it and plug it back in, does it cause issues with anything else? Um, it will pop up a notification saying that you didn't uh, properly disconnect your hard drive and uh, and that you are a bad person. And most people point at you and laugh. That's what it says in the text box there. I, I asked because with Windows, it wouldn't even have done anything. Really? Plugged it back in, it would have picked up, it would have just given you your songs back. Hmm. But to simplify that, to make it even more simple... Uh, I've never owned a DJ computer that doesn't have dual internal drives because that's, I will never have, I never want to have to deal with that ever. Mm -hmm. um, and I know people go, well, I want to plug into multiple computers. That's fine. Do what you want to do. But we're solving this problem right now of somebody picking up your hard drive and it disconnecting. Number right. one, never, ever use an external hard drive. <laughs> use internal. I don't even care if you have to split because my backup computer has a solid state M.2 that I split into two drives. So I have all my programs on one, music on the second section of the main drive. So it's split as two internally. And then your, your multiple cores and multiple strings will handle each side. You can dedicate strings and cords to each cores, cords to each side. Um, second, use solid state drives because they'll pop back together a lot faster than mechanical ones spinning up, spinning down, all that kind of stuff. It will almost not even skip a beat. Like literally, uh, you can play right back in, it'll pick right back up. So those would be my two quickest things there. Um, always have good cords. Uh, keep them out of reach. Uh, where was your setting at that someone was able to grab it, John? Literally, it was on my... I, I have a little 12-inch cable that goes from the computer, the laptop, and I set it right next to the laptop because generally, no one is messing around or up there, but you know how kids can be, and they can get... Is it on a stand or a slide-top case? Slide-top case uh, on my, my Pro X... Uh, my so you let another human being. That would be my number one thing. You let a human being get that close to your equipment. Well, I, I get an assistant. Get an I, assistant. I didn't have the barbed wire up yet. That was coming. And by the way, for those of you who don't know what I'm referring to, this is the Michael Joseph barbed wire keeping the guests away from your. your and you can well, find that on Amazon my by friend searching. Pete and I are working on an upgrade version, and <laughs> we're just calling it the uh, a salad bar sneeze shield cover. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a little more friendly, but just as just as hands off. Um, <laughs> uh, those would be the simple things. Like again, don't let people near you. Make sure they can't touch anything. Hide it if you have to. Run the court underneath so it's not there for them to grab. Because it, it's just like a car. Um, if you leave something in your car uncovered. They look in and it's a temptation. But if you have something in your car and throw your coat over it, there's less of a temptation. There's all these things that you do with other people's minds. Us as a DJ, we manipulate everybody. So you manipulate them into not touching anything. And if you if you can get past that and do internals, that solves that problem there. If you use a solid state, that helps that problem. So there's a lot of little steps like that. Um, I, your backup I, plugged in. What's that, Dan? That, that would be my other thing is have your backup player, whatever it's going to be, plugged in, software loaded, ready to go, so that if 
let, let's assume for a second that it was, you know, that kid touched it just enough that it made a loose connection to where it was kind of touching. And then you start having things go and the bass starts going and just gives yourself that connection that he loosened just enough to kind of come out and you're still trying to figure out what's going on playing catch up. If you at least have that software ready to go on your backup, whatever it is that you're using, that secondary backup from the computer, then you can then you can search for that issue. Sure. Yeah, my question is, I I don't understand why it made it lock up by just unplugging. And I don't know why it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't right there because it was. Uh you know, again, I was putting some lights up, and I looked over, and uh, and the child was looking at the hard drive. What's this thing for? And there was the cable. And by the time I came around, um, it just uh, it it there was the blue spinning wheel which Mac gives you, and it got to the end of the song, and that was it. It just was dead. It could be a Mac because Windows now with Windows ten and eleven, you don't even have to eject the hard drive. You don't have to hit that and eject. Just pull it out. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and that that has been a thing that you know Mac had to. I you're supposed to. Put it, put it in the trash or click eject on that so it can spin it down properly, whatever. So you just pop it out, pop it back in, whatever you want to do. I still get notifications when I, when I disconnect before it's on, on 10. Now I have it got, not on 11, but I have it on 10. Where is if I, if I, you know, accidentally I'll get that notification. Um, so okay. the number one thing to help this out. Don't buy whatever computer Dan's using. <laughs> I'm kidding, Dan, because he's using the same computer I am. So, <laughs> yeah. So, no, it, uh, it's, there's a lot of little steps with that. But trust me, uh, you are not the only person that's ever happened to. There's probably boatloads of people in the chat and listening to this on demand that that has happened to. There's just ways to guard it. And that's all you can kind of do is just do your absolute best. Excellent. Let's go to our next question. 